Hey everybody, welcome back to Puppets and Predictions. It's good to be back here at the desk. Yeah, it's certainly been an interesting couple weeks. <laughs> it has, Matt, but we're here and we're ready to predict the movies. Because I'm Ryan. I'm Matt. And let's talk the movies. This past weekend, Alien Covenant edged out Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 for the number one spot beating it out $36.2 million to $34.7 million. And then Everything Everything opened up at $11.7 million. That's great, and right after that, Diary of a Wimpy Kid had a mediocre haul of $7.1 million, still not so wimpy for a family book adaptation. All right, should we move right on to the top 10? Let's do it, but first, let me explain we're going to be doing two different types of projections today, a four-day and a three-day weekend for Memorial Day weekend. So we're going to use that percentage for the three-day weekend and then bump it a bit for the four-day. So Matt, you ready to get us started, man? Absolutely. At number 10, we've got our buddy Vin Diesel in Fate of the Furious in its seventh week. We think it's going to drop 38% and make $2 million in the normal weekend and $2.5 million in the four-day. Cool. Right after that, we have Boss Baby at number 9. For that movie, we're projecting a 25% decrease and a 2.1 three-day weekend and a 2.6 four-day weekend. Right on. And then at number 8, we have King Arthur in its third week. We think it's going to go down 50% and make $3.6 million and $4.2 million in the four-day. Sounds good, buddy. We got Snatched, another movie in its third week. We think it's going to decrease 48%, make $4.1 million in the three-day weekend, and $5.1 million in the four-day. All right, and then at number six, we have Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. You know, Ryan, I was a pretty wimpy kid when I was in middle school. Psh, not as wimpy as me. I'm the wimpmeister. Was that a, a challenge? It's no challenge, man. I mean, check this out. Wimpy... Wimpy. 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 We're going to compare Die of a Wimpy Kid The Long Haul to Middle School The Worst Years of My Life, which came out in October of 2016 and dropped 37% in its second week. Nancy Drew, which came out in June of 2007 and dropped 36% in its second week. So we think that Die of a Wimpy Kid The Long Haul is going to drop 37% in its second week and make $4.5 million in the normal and $5.5 in the four day. After that, we have Everything Everything in its second week. We're going to compare that to Nights and Road Dancy. Coming out September 2008, second week drop 45%, and Age of Adeline coming out in April 2015, second week drop 53%. So, for everything, everything in its second week, we're going to say a 48% decrease with a 6.1 three-day weekend and a 7.3 four-day weekend. Okay, and then at number four, we have Alien Covenant in its second week. We're going to compare it to District 9, which came out in August of 2009 and had a second week drop of 51%. Oblivion, which came out in April of 2013 and had a second week drop of 52%. And Pacific Rim, which came out in July of 2013 and had a second week drop of 57%. We think Alien Covenant is going to have a second week drop of 56% and make 16.3 in the three day and 23 in the four day. Face hugger. Oh no! Radical Matt. And now let's bring back one of my favorite segments from the dead. We have the binge break. Binge break. Because this week we have the latest Brad Pitt movie coming out, War Machine. Oh wow, I think it's so nice that Marvel has decided to give Rhodey his own movie in the MCU. It's fantastic. So what we're going to do at Puppets and Predictions this week is what we do best to make some comparisons. So first up, we have Beast of No Nation, which had an 8.1 million like ratio. We have Sandy Wexler, 6.2 million like ratio. And Mascots, 5.8 million like ratio. So what we're saying for War Machine this week is a 7.5 million like ratio. Can you uh, do the viewers a favor and explain what the hell a like ratio is? No. 
Right on. So at number three, we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 in its fourth week. We think it's going to go down 39% and make 21.1 million and make a four day projection of 28 million. Sick, Matt. I'm excited for this next one because we got some hot beach bods coming out this weekend. We have Baywatch opening this weekend. Yeah, you know, one of those beach bods is uh, yours truly. No way. Prove it. Oh, yeah, I am in Baywatch. So, uh, what do you think? I'm just proud of you, man. I mean, first San Andreas and True Detective. Now Baywatch, you're building a really good career here. Uh, not, uh... Well, we're going to compare this to Central Intelligence coming out June last year, opening weekend, $35.5 million. And Identity Thief came out February 2013, opening weekend, $34.6 million. And The Other Guys coming out August 2010. Opening weekend, $35.5 million. So what we're saying for Baywatch in its opening weekend is $34 million, three day, and $43 million, four day. So a little reversal for those. All right, and then at number one, we've got Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and it's opening weekend. Take it away, Ryan. First up, we have Kong Skull Island. Came out March 2017. Opening weekend, $61 million. And then we've got Star Trek Beyond, which came out in July of 2016 and had an opening weekend of $59.3 million. And then we got Sherlock Holmes, coming out December 2009, opening weekend $62.3 million. Yar! So we think that Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales is going to have an opening weekend of 61 million doubloons. And a four-day projection of 80 million doubloons. All right, well, that's our top 10, so I guess it's time for our final word. The final word. Cool. My final word this week is beefcake, because I'm ready for all those beefcakes to come running down the beach this week in the movies. Yeah, and the Pirates of the Caribbean. No, silly. In the Baywatch movie. That's where all the beefcakes are going to be. Oh. Well, um, my final word is going to be McCartney. Why McCartney? Oh. Well, that's our show, so we'll see you all next week. See you guys. Have a good weekend. Bye.